Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome back to Sussex Farm. Uh, we just got done cultivating this uh, field 23. Yeah, I think it is. Yep, field 23. Um, we have a worker plowing field 22 as long as she doesn't get lost again. 21 has been plowed and needs to be cultivated. And today we are going to have a worker do most of our plowing work right now. So we need to go ahead and fold this up and take it back home, which is luckily right across the street. Whoa, easy. We'll give it a wash first. We're not going to need it for the rest of the day. The plan for the day is something I've been talking about taking care of our sheep. So that is what we're going to do this morning. We also have some bales of uh, fluff. Or what are they called? The sheep's fur. God, I can't remember. Um, yeah, that thing. <laughs> We've got to get it... Uh, load it up. Uh, so we're going to take the Unimog, the name of the trailer, I can't remember until I get over there, the New Holland with the New Holland grass cutter on it, and we're going to set the JCB up to start planting field 23 with our maize, corn, what have you. Now, I did call Fanatec about my steering wheel, and, oh my god, don't mind me, can't drive. They basically told me, unless I buy a new wheel, it's not going to quiet down, so, which kind of sucks, because I just got this, and it works really, really good, it's just they said that the gearing on the armature where the um, the gearing on the armature that does the dampening effect and the force feedback is getting loud because the gears are worn so that is probably our big issue I uh, might take it apart and try to fix it and I it's really starting to get kinda tinny I did happen to buy a new desk, which is thicker, so the tinniness in the microphone has been taken care of. OPTI? Let's be hydraulic. Okay. Now we're going to see if our seed mod works. There should be this little building right over here. Yes. Now our overnight cost was actually less than normal because if you remember we got rid of the profit track and got ourselves a Axion 840 I think it is. Boy I hope it doesn't need more than this. Okay. Uh, actually just seen my very first Axion. I live in South Dakota in the United States and we went to town this morning and apparently one of the dealerships on the side of Interstate 29 had one for sale. And it was an Axion A50 and I had no idea how big they actually were. So apparently our farmer is a giant because I'm six foot I'm six foot tall and that thing was way way taller than I am and when I stand beside ours in game it does not feel so large so we're just gonna go ahead and get a worker on the way it's already seven o'clock feel like we wasted some of the morning
Good. That should be good. Uh, while we were away, I actually harvested the rest of field 22. I think it is. Yes, field 22 where the worker G is working. Got that all sorted away. It's in the silo. And what else do we need to do? Uh, put the harvester away. Put the bucket away. We have a pallet fork, the Unimog, the Bergman. Big Bergman. Okay. So we need to get this started. Get this one started. More than likely move this a little bit closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Be good. That was slightly terrifying. <laughs> okay, there it comes. Alright, that was horrible. So where are we going to go cut grass? Well, we have to go see the sheep anyway, so I'm thinking the grass field directly in front of our sheep. I think that would be the best bet. And that is over by uh, G2, by the big green duck. Alright, so here we are. Um, this is our leased property. Uh, not the house, not the fields, but the sheep farm and this grass field we are leasing from this Mr. Farmer Man. Unimog's still behind? Yes it is. Alright. Awful foggy. Let's get this unfolded and get the Unimog to quit falling. Thank you. Turn that off. Don't need to waste the fuel. Okay, so um, I've never used this. Oh wow. That's a lot of grass. Those are sheep. Beep beep, I'm a sheep. So hopefully uh, we've been taking good enough care of them. Uh, looks like we need to clean up after them and we have one pallet full of sheep stuff. I don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering what the sheep stuff is. Wool. God, it's wool. Now, the New Holland is kind of underpowered for this mower, but I figured that if we needed any more power, we have the Unimog, and it's 210 horse. So, do as the Unimogs do. And we're not going to do this whole field. Um, we don't have enough sheep for that. If we can make some more money today, then we will buy a few more sheep in the next episode. Because I think we have eight right now, so they're not eating as much as what they could. But, you know, it's, uh, they're sheep. They do the sheep thing. Now, if I remember right, you're supposed to switch this as it's going. So that should be right, right about the center. There we go. It's not a, uh, it's not a button. You have to use the mouse to position it. So, kind of neat. I like it. I am a fan. 
I don't know how many times I've said it on this channel, but I really like anything that is more mechanical other than just pressing a button and going. I think two passes might be enough. I don't know how much... Th this hasn't been fertilized or anything on this entire grass field, so... The value is probably not going to be that great. I'm also having a hard time seeing because we are in the middle of fog. Hopefully it breaks. Be nice if it breaks. Adjustable mirrors would be a wonderful uh, mod to have. Now I do know I have the straw bells still at the... Or not straw. The grass bells at the... Uh, what you call it? Store. So we'll link up right here and we'll see what we have. Alright. Gonna move this out of the way for right this second. Now another thing I'd like to do is... Today I'd like to get the fish started, but you gotta have some wood. I think it's wood, wood and maize. And that would be our big start for that. Okay, that's going. Hopefully this doesn't fill up so fast. I don't know how much it actually holds. So yeah, the Unimog's been a really, really good vehicle for us. It's, um... I, I really like it. You can do a lot with it. The bed's nice, it dumps, it picks up, it can hold. The... Um... PTO on the front and the back is absolutely wonderful. Power's nice. The IC's nice. It's just been a good a good truck. It's been a good purchase. I'm enjoying our our Unimog purchase. Now we are going to uh, let's go ahead and store this and we're going to clean up after ourselves a little bit because this isn't our property. We're just being nice and renting the back lot here. So we always want to have a very good looking area. Something that we can be proud of. And I'm thinking right in here maybe. Yeah, that I didn't almost hit that wall. No, nope, no, 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 this one. Okay. That got a lot full. I'm I'm pleasantly pleasantly surprised. Okay, it looks like uh helper G is done. So uh they're in the Axiom class. So we could actually go go uh, get that tractor and do something else with it. Like cultivate those two fields. Get all that done. So we need to open up the rear. And we're going to go ahead and pick up our. Oh my, they've made a mess. My beacon's on. There we go. Now, if I go down here and pick this uh, pallet of wool up and it's not full, then we're not going to worry about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll take that right now. Get this loaded up, and then we'll have to find the cell point, the spinnery, I think is what it's called. Get it in there. There we go. We can do a R for that strap, this, hit eight. 
Okay, so the other bale, I don't like where it's at, and we need to give them some water anyway. Guess we can put the bale up here. Shouldn't be an issue. Again, we are renting the back lot. So. Nope. Get some. I think we might leave the new Holland here as well. Uh, we don't have to shed it or anything, but we shouldn't need it for the rest of the day, I don't think. So, we'll get some water. Get some water for our sheeps. If I can drive, oh my god. And then, what else can we do today? Oh yeah, the, the beehive thing. We need to learn and experiment. Oh, I didn't think it was that full. Oh wow. Okay. Now, as far as the cleanliness, we'll have to bring the shovel back again. That way we can get our sheep pins cleaned up. Because they need... they've made a mess. They have bad table manners. This is the problem I have with trying to back up without mirrors. Once you've done it with mirrors for so long, you don't uh, you don't know how to act when, <laughs> when you can't use them. Trying to look at it from the outside and steer without looking at a mirror and going, okay, if I go left, I gotta go left. Uh, you're trying to constantly do the opposite. So, it doesn't, it's not, uh, not prudent. Okay. We're gonna leave this. We'll leave this right here, shouldn't be no issue. I know it seems like we're really stretching out where our equipment is all the time, but, you know, sometimes you gotta have things in different areas. And hopefully we can bring back a loader bucket. Clean up that. Okay. Alright, so, where do we gotta go to sell? Uh, we're at a low point. It should be alright, we have 2,000 liters, so that should get us through today and tomorrow, so our sheeps pay for themselves. And where was that at? Right here. Solid wool. That's over on Main Street. Okay, I know where that is. Alright, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, so here we are at Solid Wood. Well, why is that there? That's not ours. That, that's really not ours. I haven't... What? Whose is this? Will it let me sell it? I, I seriously haven't done this. Okay, so I need to delete $12,690. Um, I don't want to cheat like that. So, I don't know where that come from. 
or if our wool is automatically getting transported for some reason but this is ours so I don't see how they've done that honestly okay so um, yeah we need to minus 12,690 that is very very strange I did not do that uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for the next one. That That's glitching out. Hmm. Okay, so now we need a uh, chainsaw. What do we want this time? Husqvarna. Okay, well, we'll take a Husqvarna. Alright, so the general idea that I get from this is we will take it here and unload it hopefully and the gentleman inside will make us some beehives which will be placed there so we'll have to come and get those and put them in here and then take them to where we want our, our bees to be at I think it takes one day to make one so I'm okay with that alright uh, forest. We can actually hit the hillside up by the Sussex farm. So that is where I'm heading and I will see you guys when I get there. Alright, so we'll take this path up and onto the mountain and cut down one tree. I don't think we'll need a bunch of trees, hopefully. Oh. Oh my. It's, uh... Quite the goat path. How else do you get up here? Is this the only way to get up to these fields? Can you imagine trying to get a combine up here? Holy crap. Oh wow. Those are some big fields. One day, that will be us. One day. Okay, so we need to find our way to the other side here. Might have to do a little bit of four wheeling. To get to where we need to go. What is this? Oh no, the Finston area. I didn't know this was here. I've never been up here, like honestly. Okay, we are in a Unimog. So we're just gonna head off road here. And we'll try to get up to the brown area. Seems like the best bet for what we're trying to do. Lose on a lot of speed though. Are we spinning? Yes, back wheels are spinning. Are there any that are dead? That's what uh, that's what we need to be focusing on. If there are dead trees, then we will cut them. If not, we will cut something else. Um, it's not looking like it. Sounds right. All right. Hopefully, this falls to the left. Giant toothpick. Oh, missed it. Alright. Hopefully this tree isn't that thick. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Get the Unimog moved right next to us. Like so. We don't have to rip so far. Oh, we do have the sawdust model. I forgot all about this.
Okay. I know it looks like we're wasting, but we're not. We're, we'll, we'll be back for it. But it's already 2 o'clock, and we haven't got much accomplished today. So hopefully, uh... Hopefully this is uh, good enough for government work. Hmm. I don't want to go back the way we came. That one's about to fall off. Thank God we got it strapped. That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Alright, so it appears that uh, taking the back way actually leads us out to the Frampton Farm? Plur Plumpton. Plumpton Farm. So, that's always a good thing. But now my camera is locked because for some reason it gets locked whenever you have a load on this to be very, very close to the Unimog. I don't know why, but it is a thing. Alright, so other than a few very odd, random things that happen with the Unimog, I really, really like it. It's always... It's always been good. It always, uh... Always does what I want it to do. Okay, so here we are. Collect the money interest. I don't know if anybody's here. I'm pretty sure we just unload them here. There we go. Wait. Why didn't it take them? Hello. You're in here working. I've angered the I've angered the Unimog. God damn it, go. This one is where you unload it. Hmm. Well, this requires further investigation. All right. So apparently, I'm dumb. Take it in. Ah, there it goes. There we go. Okay. I didn't know you had to do this part. Oh, wow. I didn't expect to get that many planks. That's a little... That's a little ridiculous. Is that liters or the number of planks that we get? Oh wow, they appeared up here on the side too. Oh, okay. So I could take the planks and sell them. So uh, that's nifty. Are we full? It's full. <laughs> okay. All right. So you should be doing something. Um. I don't know how to f <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, well, anyway. <laughs> we, we've dropped off our bits, so hopefully we get something out of it. Uh, that's, that's what we're hoping, anyway. 
now we need to uh, go check on our fields and decide where we want to put our beehives because they need to be somewhere I just don't know where okay I just um yeah they they missed a lot <laughs> I was gonna go I was gonna go do something else but <laughs> they missed a lot so we're gonna have to fix it because it's bad it's really really bad I mean I miss stuff I mean look at my field 22 21 whatever it is but not like that that's a lot of not plowed land this won't take but a second but it's still like how did they miss this well maybe it's because the tractor is getting walked by the plow I don't know well, not really 10 miles an hour is pretty good Alright, so we can take our uh, plow back to the farm, get it put away. We're not going to wash it because we're probably going to have to use it again here today. I knew I said I wasn't going to use the cultivator again today, but I'm hoping the class will pull it and get it started on field 21. Get that done today, and we need to check on our fast track and see why it stopped. It may be out of seed, honestly. So we'll get the cultivator hooked up, take it back over, get it started, get the fast track going again. Hopefully it's done. If it's done, that'll be great. Uh, and tomorrow we'll have to hit the first stage of growth. And when we hit the first stage of growth, we can do the um, the weeding because I bought that big fancy weeder that we still haven't got to use yet All right. that just turned over because I didn't let it down So yeah, as I was saying, I actually saw my very first class tractor today. Um, I took a couple of pictures, as odd as that sounds. Uh, I've never seen one, so it's kind of nifty. Oh, this won't take very long at all. I'll be honest, the class feels like it's faster than a fast track. Like, when you're working with it. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but if it works, it works. I'm not going to complain. Get this guy going straight here. I'd rather not have a foo bar. Get him going. Good. Go back and get the Unimog. Cause we just waste. So that's already grown. For the first stage. I don't see our fast track. He'd had to run out of seed. Yeah, he's out of seed. 
Or no, it's all planned. Where is the fast track? I couldn't see it. I thought it was a truck. <laughs> oh, it's still rolled out. Okay. Now the uh, I have the plant growth on slow, so I don't know why it's um, yeah I don't know why it's going so fast, um, or why I'm wrecking because I'm not paying attention. Hmm. Okay, we're going to use this later, uh, maybe tonight, so I'm just going to pull it through the pass-through. Actually, we're going to refill it first. Uh, what is it on? I don't think the other fields will take as much. So hopefully it's a little bit easier on us. It is 5.30 right now. Getting kind of late. Now remember that the amount seems all right right now, but we are missing. Uh, we're missing about twelve thousand dollars of that, so that will have to be adjusted and taken care of. Okay, so we will park this up. And get the weeder put on the fast track. Uh, that's why I wanted to keep the new Holland over here. Because it was a lower horsepower tractor that could pull this. So, oh well. What do you do? See, the plan was to do manure spreading tomorrow. Or solar spreading. Whatever we decided to do. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say there about that. Other than I'm really off center here. This machine costs us like 25 grand and we haven't used it yet. We've used the sprayer. So, you know, what do you do? Now hopefully this times out correctly. If I set the worker on this to do the weeding, then we should be okie dokie okie. Okay, never use it. Let's see what it does. How wide is it? That's uh that's got some width. Okay. Things I've never done in this game. That seems to be working. So, um, off to the races worker. Oh, it's not very fast. Okay. Alright. Uh, what else do we have to do today? How is everything looking? How is this fertilized? <laughs> I don't know how this is fertilized. It doesn't make any sense. This is doing good. Um, our fields have been plowed. Worker B is doing something. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll be able to check on that as well. <laughs> oh, now it goes up after we just sold. Uh, the bees. Got some bees there. Overview. We've got a lot of equipment for not really doing anything. Okay, that one's about 28% full. The cleanliness is zero, and that's really starting to get frustrating. We got a new sheep in 43 hours, but we only have 10. Trees playing none. Trees cut down one total today. All right. So um, I'm going to go check on our worker and see what they're doing. Okay, so we are at 2122. What's going on? Where's my tractor? Oh! Oh, that's surprising. I thought you'd done goofed. Okay, yeah, you, you've gone. Alright. I'm okay with this. <laughs> All right. Um, now we need to figure out where we want to put our beehives. I'm honestly thinking right here. There's a good water source. Um, it's gonna have some vegetation grow up and everything. So maybe over here in this shaded area, even though I know the sun is going down right now, in this area would be a good place. I like it. Hopefully everybody else likes it. Because if we don't, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're looking for, whoa, what did I do? Okay, right. Placeables. All kinds of placeables. Okay, that's where our stuff's being made. We can get our logs from there. I know I have that somewhere. I don't know what that is. Honestly. I know we can do smoke fish, but we got the fisher here, so. Alright. Okay, we're gonna do this one. And I'm thinking like one right here. And one back here in this area. Okay. Easy enough to get to. That's what I was looking for, is as long as they're easy to get to. And somewhere where they won't really be bothered. So yeah. Alright. We spent seventeen grand. Uh we're only gonna have like five thousand dollars left after a day. Alright. We will do one last stop for this evening because it's almost eight. And that is going to be to check out the production of our beehives. To make sure I've got it going. I don't know if I do or not. Alright. Here we are. Oh, we have one. Okay. I wonder if I can toss that in the back and strap it down. Oh, it does. Yay! Okay, so we have one. Okay. We need a total of eight. So we'll go right back to where we were and we'll put this one in and get some bees going. Okay. So, 
How do we place these in? Oh, 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 it just kind of goes. Hey, we got bees. How cute. What do they look like? Oh, they're happy. Look at them. They're amazing. Alright. So, there is the first, um... The first beehive done. We, we've done something today. We've taken care of our sheep. We've built a beehive. We've made things. We've done all the logging. We've got a field planted. Today has been a productive day. Unlike uh, most of our normal days where I don't get anything done besides get a headache. So, very nice change of pace. That's almost done. I'm going to let them get done with that field. With those fields. I can't believe it done it like that. I was very surprised. Um, maybe that's why the... It, it kept messing up before. Maybe I should have had them going left and right instead of up and down the field. Because they were waking out trying to get anything done. So it was very, very odd. Okay. Alright, everybody. Um, thank you for watching. If you did. If you made it this far. Hopefully you did. We will have our fast track get done. And yeah, that'll be it for today. Fast track and the class as soon as they get done. I'm hunky dory with everything that we've got done today. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.